David Lewis. I'm on the faculty here at HU and the women's soccer coach. When I was a little kid, our church was having a food drive and they said to bring in a couple cans from, uh, from your homes. And so with my parents' permission, I went to our shelves and I picked up a can of beets and a can of sauerkraut. Now, why would I choose beets and sauerkraut to bring to this food drive? Well, I didn't like beets and I didn't like sauerkraut, so it was a way for me to get rid of something I didn't like. Now, my father saw what I was doing and, and he knew I didn't like beets or sauerkraut, and so he said to me, you know, why are you choosing beets and sauerkraut? And I said, well, you know, somebody probably likes beets and somebody probably likes sauerkraut, so I want to give them what they like. Well, that was really kind of dishonest because my mo main motivation was I just wanted to get rid of it because I didn't want them. Well, he told me to um, think about it. He said, would you like to receive beets and sauerkraut? Mm, no, not really. So he said, and this is something I will always remember, when you give something to someone, give what you would like to receive. And so I went back to the shelves, and I like applesauce, and I like peaches, so I ended up taking applesauce and peaches. This principle of giving what you would like to receive has stuck with me. I can't say that I have perfectly exemplified it throughout my life because I'm imperfect, but it is a lesson that is, a, is an important lesson, and actually it's one which the principle is depicted here in the book of Malachi. Malachi's priests were not honoring the Lord with the sacrifices that they were bringing. They were supposed to bring the first fruits. In fact, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 talks about honoring the Lord with the first fruits. It's an agricultural term, which in essence is saying bring the very best. And not only bring the very best, but bring it first. Bring first the very best. But what they were doing, their sacrifices were blemished, uh, diseased, imperfect sacrifices. Now, we might ask, was this their very best? Maybe that's all they had to give. But in chapter 1, verse 14, it's very clear that they did have acceptable offerings, but they were choosing to bring uh, that which they did not want. Uh, they chose to bring blemished sacrifices, and God calls them out and says, I'm not going to accept these. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to honor the useless fires that are being placed upon your altars. You see, God wants the very best. Uh, he has offered himself to us. He has given us everything we need to be all that uh, he desires for us. And when we, in turn, uh, do not offer back to him in honoring of who he is and what he has done, then we are robbing him of his rightful glory and honor. And so how does this relate to us today? Well, certainly in terms of our time, in terms of our uh, energy, in terms of our relationships, even in terms of how you study and, and do your work. Do you wait until the last minute or are you trying to do the very best you can at all times as an offering back to the Lord. What are we offering to the Lord? Uh, unfortunately, too often, and I put myself in this category as well, too often I'm offering beets and sauerkraut. The very things I don't want is what I'm offering. The least is what I'm offering to the Lord, when in reality, I should be bringing the applesauce and peaches of my life, those things that I desire, those things that I enjoy those things that are the best. And so I challenge each one of us, myself included, that are we offering the very best as unto the Lord? Are we presenting to him our lives in a way that we are living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him? Our speech, our thoughts, our motives, our acquaintances, our actions, every aspect of who we are, are we submitting them to the Lord as a way to say, Lord, I'm giving you the first fruits, the very best, rather than the things I don't want. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, thank you for this day. 
Thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the instruction that you provide for us. And Lord, help us to give of ourselves as you have given to us in such a way that we offer the very best. Help us to honor you with the first fruits of who we are and what we do so that in every aspect of our lives we might be pleasing and acceptable to you. And Father, forgive us for those times when we have brought the beets and sauerkraut of our lives to you as an offering. Lord, forgive us for that and change us and redirect us so that we might bring the best, the first fruits, because you deserve the honor. And we thank you, Lord. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, you have a great day.